Our design philosophy of the F-Type Coupe was one that we use for all of our cars. That's great proportions, especially a coupe like this. Very, very pure surfacing and very beautiful lines. The car is very similar to CX-16 because that car, to me, embodies what a Jaguar sports car should be. The car really consists of three heart lines. There's one that sweeps up from the lower corner of the car through the headlamp, sweeping up over the front wing and into the door, and just very gently disappears. The second line then picks up just above that, just over the, the edge of the door, and then sweeps down into the rear of the car in a very relaxed but very powerful form. And those two lines really give the car its standing on the road. The third line is the roof line, the way the roof sweeps up and then down towards the rear of the car in a very, very dramatic way. Those three lines together really create the essence of the car shape. We at Jaguar are taking the whole principle of building aluminium bodies to a whole new limit. We're probably the most advanced in the world at creating the sort of extremity of form that we create on, on something like the F-Type Coupe. The whole side of it is what we call a mono side. In fact, it's one piece from the start of the A-pillar right through to the back of the car. There are no joints. And to pull the one piece of aluminium across that depth had never really been done before. One of the big challenges for, for our team in, in body was really to deliver those three heart lines that Ian talks about. And at the same time, deliver a very strong, very stiff, very safe body shell using innovative techniques like a hydroform beam in the Kent rail, which means that we can have a pillarless coupe profile, but a very, very strong upper structure. The body shell of the new F-Type Coupe is incredibly stiff. We worked very hard to achieve this stiffness so that we had a great platform for the vehicle dynamics. I think one of the biggest challenges was a wonderful low, sleek roofline. It looks fantastic, but there are other characteristics to consider as well. Interior space, uh, outward vision, and also requirements in terms of head impact and in terms of rollover protection. Uh, using Jaguar's aluminium expertise, uh, the engineering team has really pioneered the use of hydroformed extruded beams, beams that run up from the front of the car all the way along the roof line. So it's the use of this technology to deliver the design vision, but at the same time meet the customer needs and all future legislative requirements. 